Hello everybody! This is the first of a few different videos that I'm going to be doing on something that I'm very, very passionate about, and that is baby wearing. Uh, I've worn all of my five children, and I'm so excited to wear this little one that's in my belly right now when she comes out. Um, you know, it's something that I can honestly say is one of the most important things that you can do with your baby. Um, from newborn all the way through toddlerhood. And it's not just a convenience for the mother, but it does so many wonderful things for your baby. The benefits are incredible. And so I wanna go through that right now, just the general benefits of baby wearing. And then in the upcoming videos, I'm gonna be getting a little bit more specific about um, what I prefer in terms of baby wearing and um, and you know, some of the things that I've learned over wearing all five of my children and sharing that with you in hopes that it might save you some time and some money and um, you know, just cut to the chase and, and go right to the heart of what is so incredible about baby wearing. And there is just so much. I mean, it's something that I just love to do and on all of my children have benefited from it as well. So I, I hope this gives you some insight if you haven't thought about wearing your baby and it's never too late. I mean, even if your baby is older, a toddler, um, you know, they, they can get used to it and they will love it. It really is a wonderful practice. So first I just want to talk about the general benefits of baby wearing. And uh, we'll get into some specifics later, but the benefits for mama and baby. If you start when the baby is a newborn, then this is just such an amazing way to ease your baby into the world. You know, I'm sure you've heard about the fourth trimester and I have some past videos talking about this, but this is an opportunity for you to transition your baby from your womb to the world, which I'm sure you can imagine is such an unbelievably traumatic transition, uh, and, and do it in a way that is very, very peaceful and um, kind of bridge a lot of those gaps. So when you think that, you know, this baby comes out of your womb, they want to feel you, your warmth, your, your smell, your, you are their world, you have been their world, and you continue to be their world, you're their source of comfort and food and um, you know you are their everything so when you wear them you're giving them that feeling of being in the womb you're moving you're you're rocking you're walking and and that puts them to sleep that calms them down it's what they're used to they can smell their mama and they can smell your milk I mean it's it's just this really neat thing that um, that just comforts them and and allows them to calm down a lot easier because they're on you there are lots of studies that show that it helps stabilize their heart rate and it helps stabilize their body temperature obviously you're sharing your body temperature with them even if you have a shirt on in between you know it doesn't necessarily have to be baby wearing skin to skin although that is a beautiful and wonderful practice especially for newborns but um, you know, just just wearing them when you're when you're out, when you're home all the time, it it st helps stabilize those functions in their body um, because they're reading it off of you and they're they're taking it from you, and it's just this really beautiful kind of symbiotic thing that happens that really does ease them into the world in such an incredible way that no other way, I mean, in essence, you had them in you and now all of a sudden you're just wearing them a little bit higher <laughs> and, and they're protected from the world. And um, it's something that I've always enjoyed. I've never liked to put down my newborns. Um, I'm that mama that I don't like to share well <laughs> with other people when I have a new baby. Um, and, and this just keeps them close all the time. And because of this, you're bonding more with your baby. Your baby is forming this, this new kind of connection with you. And, um, and, and you with your baby, I mean, you're getting to know them, they're on you. Instead of, you know, setting them down in a, in a swing or a bouncy seat, 
you guys are really bonding together and it's it's a really neat way of just sharing your your space and your energy um, you know also this helps with your breast milk supply because when you have the baby on you um, you're actually increasing prolactin levels your body is adjusting and and reading the, that the baby is close um, a lot of times they say that the best way to do that is with skin to skin but um, you know, again, you can have a shirt on, the baby's gonna be feeling you and smelling you and and your body is going to start producing milk at a faster and more effective rate, more efficient rate, because you're wearing your baby. Um, that also includes, you know, baby wearing makes it really easy to breastfeed. A little bit more challenging when they're newborns because, you know, they don't have the neck control and you definitely have to help them. But um, breastfeeding while you're baby wearing is very, very simple to do. Uh, it just takes, you know, some trial and error and getting used to whatever device you're, you're using to wear your baby and um, the position that your baby likes and what's comfortable for you. There are lots of studies out that show that it aids in um, physical and um, cognitive function. And, you know, I'm not going to go into too many specifics on that, but there's lots of resources out there that talk about this. And, um, you know, babies that tend to be worn tend to adjust better to their environments. And, and you know, due to lots of different factors, including the ability to breastfeed more easily, the mother's ability to create more milk more easily, you know, obviously is going to help with the physical development. Um, it is just incredible the benefits that the baby gets from being that close to the mother as well. Another amazing benefit that I have noticed, and I know if you have worn your babies, you've probably also noticed, is that they sleep so much better and so much sounder because they're comfortable because of all the reasons that I noted before. You know, they smell you, they feel your warmth, they know, you know, it's the rocking, they know you're there. And so they can relax, calm down, you know, sleep a lot easier. Now I know that you would just think that you would get more done. It would be a lot easier to be able to go do something in the house, laundry, whatnot, if you had the baby in a swing or a bouncy seat instead of wearing them on you. But I can tell you from experience, they sleep so much lighter and for shorter periods of time, especially as newborns, if they're not on you. And I mean, there's been times when I've been wearing my, my infants for hours, getting stuff done around the house and, um, and they just sleep through the whole thing. You know, you just, you can't get that same quality of sleep out of your baby in a bouncy seat or a swing. You just can't. And I touched on this too. You know, I, I have five children and, um, you know, being pregnant with my six, I'm really not nervous or concerned about being able to be there and do things with my other children with the newborn because I literally just put them on me and I can help my other kids with homework. I can, you know, get lunches together and I can play video games with them or whatever it is that they want to do, I can be there for them and just have the baby on me. And I have comfort in knowing, having experienced it with all of my other babies, that it just makes life so much easier. I'm able to pretty much do everything that I want to do just with the baby on me. And you know, they're not very big and they're not very heavy and it's actually even more comfortable than being pregnant, having them on your chest. So, you know, transitioning from being pregnant and having this big belly that's kind of uncomfortable and having to go to the bathroom all the time and to just having the baby on your chest all snuggled in, the transition is actually really easy and it's so simple to be able to just get everything that you need to get done. And, um, and know that they're safe and, and sleeping and, um, and with you. You know, to me that is invaluable. Just to be able to look down and 
kiss their little head and <laughs> feel their their heartbeat and their breath and it's just it's heavenly which leads me to another benefit there are lots of studies out there that show that mothers who baby wear are less likely to have postpartum depression and I'm not gonna get into a lot of specifics <laughs> again I want to make this this video a little bit more general but um, you know a lot of it just has to do with them on you and and the joy that that brings having them close to you it just um, it it raises a lot of the hormone levels that um, that make you happy and and you can see why another benefit that I've found is that I lose weight faster and again a lot of factors at play here but you know you're carrying around the baby you can exercise within reason with the baby on you I actually used to teach a yoga class for baby wearing mamas and um, all these women would come with their babies and all these different kinds of, of baby wearing tools you know I mean you had wraps and and slings and um, ergos and just whatever they were comfortable with and there was a, a, a set amount of yoga poses that that we could do um, and and it was great because normally the babies would just fall asleep they loved the motion and the moms were able to exercise and enjoy themselves and knowing that their babies were safe and happy and sleeping so I love carrying my babies through toddlerhood and I can tell you that you know carrying my two and a half year old on my back or on my hip um, I get a really good core workout and it's not something that I don't feel a back strain I mean even at 35 weeks I still carry my toddler uh, on my back and my hip but um, you know the the workout that you get from from carrying this this little person that's gradually increasing their weight is is great I mean it's wonderful and it's 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 not a strain if you know how to wrap properly or you know how to wear your baby properly and um, switch it up a little bit and have the right kind of baby wearing tool for your body and for your baby so that's something we'll get to in an upcoming video as well there are a lot of studies out there that say that baby wearing decreases the risk of SIDS and that has a lot to do with the fact that like I mentioned before their heart rate and their body temperature is regulated while you're wearing them um, you're able to you know see their positioning and check their positioning and make sure that it's an optimal position for their airflow and things of that nature so you're really just cutting out a lot of the factors that that could lead to SIDS um, they've also had studies that show and this makes complete sense that um, you're eliminating the the risk of flat head syndrome which a lot of moms worry about that's not something that I've ever really worried about but again it's because I wear my babies I don't leave them laying places at all um, <laughs> I mean every now and then you know if I have to use the restroom or shower then yes I will put my newborn in a bouncy seat or uh, we do have a swing but for the most part uh, I'm wearing my baby so of course you are eliminating the risk of flathead syndrome and some of the more obvious benefits of baby wearing especially as your child gets older is um, you know keeping them contained I still wear my two and a half year old uh, when I go to the grocery store and it keeps him from getting into trouble it keeps him from touching everything and getting germs I don't have to put him in the cart you know I, I just wear him he's totally and completely happy just if he's on my back looking over my shoulder and seeing everything that I'm doing um, he doesn't feel the need to run around or um, get down he's just happy and content being where he is and I don't have to worry about germs and and you know him running around with other siblings and things of that nature you know with with five kids having one contained on my back is is really wonderful so I've kind of touched on just general benefits of baby wearing um, you know notable things that I think are convincing enough for someone to want to try it 
if, if you haven't thought about it before. It, it really is a wonderful practice that is so emotionally fulfilling and, um, and, and just enjoyable all the way around. And when you start wearing your baby, you'll see that they enjoy it so much. I mean, you'll just feel it. And um, that right there is, of course, worth its weight in gold on top of everything else that I have mentioned. So uh, be watching for some videos coming up. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, my favorite kind of baby wearing and uh, in hopes to kind of, again, save you money and time if you are kind of searching because there are a lot of different ways to baby wear and a lot of different kinds of baby wearing apparatuses <laughs> and uh, so I'll, I'll share my experience with you because I've been through almost all of them. Uh, I also want to share with you my uh, I, ideas about baby wearing while pregnant because I have worn, like I said, my toddler through this entire pregnancy and I feel like through trial and error I have definitely gotten it down to a system that is very comfortable for me and for him. It's something that I've really enjoyed through this pregnancy and I know he's enjoyed it as well. So I'm going to be putting out these other videos coming out very, very soon. And I hope this has been helpful if you've been on the fence about baby wearing. And uh, thank you again for joining me and until next time, be well.